Thanks, Ellen. It's 655, 42 degrees outside. It's time for my final thought. The family that owns Krispy Kreme, Keurig Dr. Pepper, and Panera Bread announced the results of a three-year investigation showed that the family lineage of the owners includes a history of Nazi ties. Now, the Ryman family, which owns a controlling stake in JAB Holdings and is one of Germany's richest families, will donate $11 million to charity after a three-year investigation that it commissioned discovered details of their ancestors' behavior. The investigation found that Albert Ryman Sr., who died in 1954, and Albert Ryman Jr., who died in 1984, used Russian civilian prisoners and French prisoners of war as forced labor in their factories during World War II. They were also anti-Semites and supporters of Adolf Hitler. Now, Peter Half, chairman and managing partner of J.A.B. Holdings, said, quote, Ryman Sr. and Ryman Jr. were guilty. The two businessmen had passed away, but they actually belonged in prison, end quote. Half went on to say, we were ashamed and white as sheets. There is nothing to gloss over. These crimes are disgusting. Now, I want to commend J.A.B. Holdings and the Ryman family for being forthright about their past. They knew the company's past may have been dark, but instead of trying to bury it or act like it never happened, they decided to confront it and speak out against it publicly. There was no minimizing and there was no distancing, just the honest truth and an attempt to make amends, much like Georgetown, who I commended last year after their slaveholding revelations came to light. This is how moving forward works. It's not turning a blind eye to the past, it's confronting those atrocities, making an honest effort to atone and challenging yourself to be better. Because let's be honest, we all have dark chapters in our past if we look hard enough, but if you never deal with it, you'll never get past it.